Paint the Cat and the Treasure Map by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete and Callie are having a sleepover. Hey, Dad, Pete says. How about a groovy bedtime story? Pete's dad smiles. You bet, he says. It all began on a ship. A pirate ship. Captain Pete and first mate Callie were on the trail of the treasure of Secret Island. Captain Pete steered the ship through the big waves, the wind pushing at the sails. Let's go, mateys, said Captain Pete. We'll be there in no time. Suddenly, first mate Callie spotted something in the water. It was a big green head. What's that? she asked. Just then, the boat began to rock. A giant arm reached up and splashed at the water, making waves that crashed down onto Captain Pete's boat. Arr! yelled the crew. It's a monster. Run for your lives. But did Pete worry? Not at all. He knew just what to do. Captain Pete raced below decks. When he came back, he was holding his guitar. That monster isn't trying to hurt us, he said. He's rocking a cool beat. Captain Pete began to rock out on his guitar. The monster nodded its head along with the music. Then it began to splash its arms in time to the music. See, said Captain Pete. He's not a scary sea monster at all. He's an awesome sea drummer. Oh no! First mate Callie shouted as it started to rain. Look, lightning! There must be a storm coming. Batten down the hatches, Captain Pete shouted. Everyone get ready. This looks like it's going to be a big one. The boat began to rock back and forth. The wind picked up and the waves grew taller and taller. Soon, Captain Pete's boat was on top of the waves. Whoa, said Captain Pete, as the wave almost knocked over the boat. This is not a groovy storm. Just then, Captain Pete had an idea. Hey there, friend, he yelled to the sea monster. We need some help. The monster grabbed the ship and held it up, high above the water. The wind continued to lash the boat, but the crew was safe. The waves couldn't topple them as long as they were in the monster's grip. Slowly, the wind died down and the water went back to normal. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! shouted the crew as the monster set them back in the water. Let's hear it for our new pal! Thanks, friend, said Captain Pete. We never would have made it through that storm without you. The monster grinned. He was happy to have helped his new buddies. Suddenly, first mate Callie spotted something in the distance. It was Secret Island. Land ho, she shouted. The pirates rushed to look over the side of the boat. All that wind had moved them exactly where they wanted to be. On the beach, Captain Pete found his friend Grumpy Toad. He was surrounded by a glittering pile of treasure. Ahoy, mateys, called Grumpy Toad. I see you found my treasure map. I wanted to keep all of this treasure for myself, but it's no fun if there's no one to share it with. Come join me, there's plenty to go around. The crew jumped off the boat and ran to land. Thanks, Grumpy Toad, they shouted. But Captain Pete wasn't happy. He was glad to have found the treasure, but something was missing. This was a celebration, and that meant music. The pirates loaded all the treasure onto their ship. Then Captain Pete got out his guitar again. Hey, Captain Pete shouted, where's our drummer? The sea monster popped his head out of the water and began splashing a beat. 
rock on, said Captain Pete, matching the monster's pace. What a cool song. The crew agreed. Soon they were all dancing to the music. Captain P and his crew set sail for home. Dad finished. Their adventure was over and so is your bedtime story. Time for bed. Pete smiled to himself as he drifted off to sleep. A pirate's life for me. What an adventure that would be.